Before we can create animated sprites, we need an image sheet. And there are a couple different ways to create those. One is by hand, and you could take all of your different frames of animation and open up a bigger picture and paste them all in there next to each other. So that can be done, but as you can imagine, it's a little bit time-consuming and boring and icky. So there are other ways to do it. There are utilities out there, and there's one in particular called Texture Packer, and it is at codeandweb.com. If you go there, you'll find Texture Packer, and it is probably the most used texture packer in 2D game development today. In Corona, at least, I know that it is the most used. There's another one out there called Zwap Text. I tried them both. I ended up going with Texture Packer. And Texture Packer is a paid piece of software, but they do have a trial version. It'll go for seven days, so you can download it and play around with it and make all your image sheets in the first seven days. You don't have to pay anything. So I'm going to bring that up right now. And this is what Texture Packer looks like when you first start it. And the way you do it is you drag your sprites, your frame images, over here onto the right. Then you set up some things over here on the left, and you export it, and it turns it into an image sheet. So I'm going to show you that right now. So inside our sample code, inside of Sprite Animation, there's a folder called Dummy. And this is the Block Buddies Dummies. And there's actually four different sizes. They go all the way from small, which these are 64 by 64, all the way up to extra large, which is 256 by 256. So we're going to go with the medium size ones for this example. So go to the M file, and now we need to choose the different frames that we want to put in here. If all we want the guy to do is boxing, we could select this one, I'm going to shift click and choose this one, drag these over here, drop them in, and we end up with all of these guys packed here in the middle. Now they're tipped over on their right hand side, but for texture packer it doesn't matter. So let's actually, just for the fun of it, grab another couple dozen and throw them in here too. And now we can see there's bunches of them. Some of them are sideways, some of them are right side up, some of them are the other way, and it doesn't really matter. Texture Packer spits out code that will allow you to use them. However, there are two ways to use Texture Packer. One is the basic simple way, and one is the more advanced way. To be able to use an image sheet like this with all these different things in there, that's more of the advanced thing. We're going to stick with the basic stuff because it's good enough. It's not like with the basic stuff, you can only create basic games. Both of them will get you from point A to point B. So here's what we're going to do first. I'm going to erase all of those, and we're going to go with boxing. And you'll notice that there are boxing to the right, and there's boxing to the left. So it's like, well, you have to put them all in there. No, you don't have to. With Corona SDK, it's really easy to switch a sprite from a left orientation to a right orientation, or up and down if you want, but left and right is more typical. So all we need is the ones facing right, and I'll show you later on in code how we just switch that with one line. We switch it to facing left. So instead of having 10 frames in here for boxing, 5 to the right and 5 to the left, we go with 5 frames, and we reuse those left to right. So we have boxing in there. And we also want him flying through the air. Let's see, is this the one I'm looking for? Yeah, flying one and flying two. There we go. Throw those in there. And we need one flat on the ground. Or when he's got knocked out, we'll take that one. And we'll take some running and walking and we'll call it good. So you just basically pick all the different frames that you want from your artwork and throw them into Texture Packer. All right, now we have a bunch of them in there, and I'm going to show you the basic thing. So over here on the left side, under Data Format, go to Corona SDK Image Sheet. There's also a Corona TM SDK. Skip that one. That's old stuff. Corona SDK Image Sheet is what you want. You can click Yes to this. doesn't matter. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom now, and where it says Trim Mode, we're going to say None. Ah, oh, look at that. All of a sudden, things spread out. Things aren't packed together as much, but they're still on one image sheet which is what we want. Also right up here under Shape Padding, go down to zero, and Border Padding, go to zero. Under the Geometry heading here, you can leave all that stuff as the default, no big deal there. And now here under Data File and Texture File, we're actually not gonna be using the data file, although when we fill in the texture file, it will fill in the data file for us. It'll save them both, we'll just ditch the one. 
So click the little button here and choose where to save your image sheet. Now I've actually created one already, but I'll go ahead and put this one in as ZTest just so you can see it. Once you've done that, it hasn't been saved yet. The texture file is ready to go right here. Now you click Publish and it writes out the graphics and the data itself. So I'm going to hide this and we're going to go back over to our images folder. And now we have ZTest Lua and ZTest.ping. I'm just going to ditch ZTest Lua. That's for the advanced stuff I was talking about. And I advise you, if you get Texture Packer, go ahead and go through the tutorials and so on and figure out how the advanced stuff works. But the basic stuff will take you a long way. So now we have ZTest Ping, and if we look at that, we actually see we've got an image sheet here all ready to go. Now, in your sample code, you should have one. It's called dummy.ping, and it's basically the same stuff. It's boxing and a guy flying through the air and running and walking. It's the animations that we'll need to create that little crash dummies in the moonlight drama. So now we have an image sheet. You've seen how to create that using Texture Packer. And we're going to take that and add some code and find out how to do sprite animation coming up next.